Welcome to Life Blood. This is George G. And the time is right. Welcome to today's guest, strong and powerful Mark Yegi. Mark, are you ready to do this? Let's go, George. Let's How are go. you? I'm doing great. Mark is known as the wealth architect. He spent his entire life teaching people about wealth and the importance of a success mindset. He's one small business person of the year. He's been a Deloitte Entrepreneur of the Year finalist. He is the managing director of Wealth Investors Club. They're the premium trading membership program for making money using options. Mark, excited to have you on. Tell us a little bit about your personal life, some more about your work and why you do what you do. Well, cool. Well, my personal life is basically I do a lot of traveling. I love to travel around the world, meet new people, experience new cultures. And for me, it's all about learning. So anytime I can learn something, I'm, uh, I'm excited. It's also about creativity. And, um, and that's what my life is really all about. But it's become, you know, as you get a bit older, George, you start to want to help people a lot more. So I've had some success in my life and doing some things, mostly in the stock market. Um, and now I have a system where I teach people how to do it or I invest for them depends on what people want. But I love to see the way people's faces light up when their finances start going in the right direction. Because so often, as you probably know, I mean, finances are a big source of pain in families and relationships, the number one cause of divorce. And so if you can get your handle on your money side, um, then your life gets a lot easier. Now, it's not all about money, right? But money is a component in our Western society for making people or helping people become more happy. So I would say money isn't the only thing, but it makes things a hell of a lot easier, you know? And we don't, we're not taught about it in school. Like we're, how many money classes did you take? You probably took way more Shakespeare classes than you took on money. And I don't know about you, but I don't use Shakespeare every day, but I sure use money. So I think it's pretty important to learn about, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think that that's really well said right there. Money is not the only thing, but it sure does it sure does make things easier. And it is the yeah. number one cause of divorce. And so it's it's this huge important thing. And it's it's probably doing a lot more harm than good, but it need not be because you are we were talking about yoga. We were talking about yoga beforehand. Getting started is hard, but once you sort of figure it out, then it's a little bit easier. Is 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 that from your perspective pretty similar? It is. And actually, it's it's a fascinating world, right? So one of the worlds that I'm delving into right now is cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. And that's a whole new realm of things. But once you just start to get a little, you know, get your foot in the door, your toe under the blanket, however you want to look at it, uh, you start to realize, you know, it can be as complicated as you want to make it or as simple as you want to make it. Well, but the problem is most people just don't know what they don't know. And so they turn on CNBC, they see Kramer screaming about a stock. They think that's the greatest thing ever. And they just, it's so easy now, George, to click a mouse and invest a hundred thousand dollars. Like it's too easy. It's like, it's like marriage. It's too easy to get married. It should be really hard to get married and easy to get divorced. And we have it the other <laughs> way around, right? So it's the same thing with the stock market. It's like, you should know what you're doing before you click that mouse because you work hard for that 100,000. You know, know what you're doing, have rules around it, have a system around it so that you have confidence around your money. And that's with anything, right? I like it. It is, a, it is too easy. And our phones are weapons of mass destruction for probably right. everything, but I hadn't really thought about it from an investing standpoint. Yeah. And I can remember being in my twenties, um, sort of, <laughs> but <laughs> losing, losing so much money in individual stocks, watching Kramer and fast money and just not really understanding that they're required to do new information all the time so just because they're excited about a stock doesn't mean that it's a good stock for me to be investing in at the time absolutely yeah and and, and we have to remember that news news sources are there to catch our eyeballs to get our attention so they can sell ads the more controversial the more exciting the more they can appeal to your greed the better their ratings and so we have to remember that so there's some been some statistics on how well kramer's performed it hasn't been the best he has, you know, he's a former hedge fund manager. He runs a hedge fund now and, you know, he, he provides a service, but the service is around entertainment. It's not around investing advice. And there's way more to it than clicking that mouse. It's what happens after you click the mouse that makes the difference in your investing, right? When are you selling? When are you, when are you buying more? What is your target? Uh, you know, what, in what kid situations would you get out when it, what happens when the market goes against you? Those kinds of things that most people don't think about when they click that mouse for the first time. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. So tell me about, tell me about option trading. 
for using options for investing? Yeah, so we do a combination of stock and options trading. So what I like to explain to people is it's we it's like if you have a house, right? Let's say you have a house and you rent the house out, right? You're not checking the value of the house every day, but you are getting that income if you're renting it out. We do the same thing with stocks. We can take a stock like Amazon or Facebook or or in this case lately it's been Tesla and we buy the stock and then we find gamblers out there that are willing to, to give us money to take risk, you know? So we're kind of the house and we let gamblers pay us rent for the ability to buy our stocks at a later date. So it's, it's a program called Covered Calls and you can find all kinds of stuff on Covered Calls on YouTube, lots of free stuff. The problem with the free stuff, just like the Fast Money, just like the Kramer or whatever, is it's free. And information wants to be free, but good information is a little bit tougher. There's there's some more work in it. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. And so we have a program that we actually teach called the cash flow machine, which is a set of rules around you know, trading stocks and, and using options to create safe, reliable income. And we target two to 4% a month. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you can add that together, get it compounding, try not to lose money, although sometimes you, you do lose money. Um, it's a better, to me, it's a better, safer way of investing uh, your money. And over time, it does really, really well. Nice. And yeah. walk me through your journey to where you are today. Oh, man. Well, I'll probably give you the journey because I'm, I'm a money guy. And so the journey starts when I was 12. Now we don't have that much time. But, um, you know, when I was 12 years old, I took my lawn mowing money. My dad taught me how to invest in the stock market because I was, you know, he was reading the papers every day. And I was curious what he was looking at in the Wall Street Journal. He was circling all these companies. He taught me what they were. And they were investments in America, basically. My first stock was a company called Aileen, which was a, <clears throat> a women's clothing store. And I put my 300 bucks in that and it became 600 bucks. I was like, well, this is pretty cool. You know, here I was mowing yards for five bucks a week, you know. And, um, and then my second stock was actually called U.S. Airways. It was, uh, it was when Allegheny Airlines turned into U.S. Airways and it went from 17 to 35. And I doubled my money again. And I'm like, wow, this is easy. This is a piece of cake. Like anybody could do this. I'm, you know, 15 years old and I'm doing this, right? It's like hitting that drive down the middle of the, of the, uh, of the fairway, right? When you first pick up the club and then you think you're Tiger Woods. Well, right. life doesn't work out that way, but um, I've been investing ever since. And so I invested all through high school and college and, you know, ran my own brokerage firm on Wall Street. Now I run three hedge funds, one's in crypto, one's in this exact program that we talk about, the safe, reliable income called the cash flow machine. And so to me, it's all about, it's all about empowering people. So I'm a wealth architect. I help people understand money from basics all the way to complex strategies that hedge funds use. And I have a heck of a lot of fun doing it because most of the time I'm behind my computer screen and I'm just buying and selling stocks. And that's kind of boring. I mean, I, for me, it, I'm a, I kind of geek out on, but for most people it'd be boring. But I also have a mastermind group around this thing that I teach and every week we get together on calls and I mentor them and, and that's where I get some human interaction. So it's, it's a heck of a lot of fun for me to see people's eyes start to open when it comes to understanding finances, because I know how much power there is in transforming their lives. It's really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So why, why did you settle on the structure that, that you did? Because you're doing all this stuff in the world of money, right? And you could teach and could focus on whatever you wanted to, but you've decided to focus on this, this cash flow machine concept. I mean, it really, I mean, I've been doing it since I was a kid. My dad gave me a book called Beat the Market, and it was written by Edward Thorpe. And he was really, the, the backstory on Edward Thorpe, I know we don't have a huge amount of time, but he wrote a book called Beat the Dealer. He was an MIT professor that figured out a way to beat blackjack, you know, the blackjack tables in Las Vegas. And he brought his whole team from MIT. You've probably seen the movies out there. And he got kicked out of Las Vegas. But before he got kicked out of Las Vegas for blackjack, he got kicked out of Las Vegas for figuring out how to beat the roulette tables. I still haven't figured out how he did that. Mm -hmm. So he's really like a mathematical genius. He was the, the impetus for what I'm doing. And, you know, we've, the markets evolved and changed and we've changed along with it. But it's mentors like that that have studied things for, you know, 100 years and the, and the best stocks and the best performing stocks. And we take all of those things and we put them into our system. And I mean, I could, I could do anything. I sold my company in 2006, George, and I retired. 
And I realized how boring it was, right? I needed a purpose in my life. And the purpose for me was helping people understand money better, right? Helping not just money, but what money can do for you. How it can transform your life? How you can, you know, what I do is I like to travel. That's my thing. So I can go around the world and I have my laptop and I can work anywhere. And that's becoming a popular thing now. But maybe it's just spending more time with your family and not waiting until you're 65 to do it. Uh, maybe it's, you know, being able to enjoy things now, climbing that mountain that you wanted to climb when you thought you were going to have to wait to do it. So it's, it's that. I love it. It's fun. And, um, and I, you know, when you help people, that's what life is all about. So that's, that's where I come from. All right. Yeah. I'm uh, sold. How do I, how do I, <laughs> let's just use me as an example. How, how I, I say, yeah, this sounds awesome. I'm interested in, in financial freedom, spending more time with family, being able to, 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 to not be locked into a desk somewhere. I can go wherever I want. How, how do I get started? Yeah. Um, so it's, it, you know, like I said, it's, it, it's not, it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy, right? In life, you know, you have to put in some work to get some things out. And so we, you know, we kind of make it easy. We look, I run hedge funds and I have, I enjoy doing that. And I handle, you know, seven and eight figure investors who want to play offense and defense. And, you know, I set them all up with, with these strategies, but not everybody can afford to be in my hedge funds. It takes a special, you know, qualification by the SEC. And so I teach a program called the cash flow machine. It's got over a hundred video modules in it and all that kind of stuff. I'm not here to talk about, you know, all the things that we teach and how great it is. But if you are willing, if you want to get started, I have a, a page that I'm setting up for, for this. And what I'll do is I'll just start you off with a, a little book that I wrote called uh, Re Regular Paychecks, it's called. So it's how you can take regular paychecks out of the stock market. And so uh, the page will be uh, is set up go.destinycreation. That's my company, destinycreation.com forward slash lifeblood. And if you go there, we'll have, you know, links from this podcast, we'll have, um, you know, that that book, and you'll be able to kind of get into our ecosystem. And just try some certain things out. I put put out lots of content, try to teach people about what we're doing. And, and if they're interested and want to go, you know, the next step, then we'd love to have you. Great. And so yeah. I, I read the book, I say, yeah, I'm interested in doing that. How much how much money and time is it going to take for me to get started? Well, it, it really depends. So if you are a beginning investor that we don't want you to throw a ton of money into it, but you know, you'll probably need to do our program, you'll probably need, you know, 25,000. But to really do our program well, you'll need 150,000 to be part of our mastermind group. And our mastermind group is a full ecosystem, you get mentorship from me, you get weekly calls. I tell you what I'm buying and selling in my hedge fund. We have a chat group of people that will support you and you get all the courses that we have. And so, you know, that is a, a bigger commitment, but it's also, you, you, if you have enough money to trade it, it can, it can change your life. So we've got one guy that, that put in, and this was below the recommended amount when he started he put in 67,000. It's worth over 350,000. And I have lots of stories like that. And that, by the way, that was about in a year, just a little over a year and a half. Um, so those kinds of things can happen. But the main thing is just to get educated, no matter what you do, whether it's, you know, coming to that link or going to somebody else's link or getting on YouTube, instead of taking, you know, four hours to binge on a Netflix thing, this is your money. This is your financial life. This can, this can transform the way you live your life. You can watch more Netflix later on bigger TVs if you just invest a little bit of time every day or every week into your financial education, that's really the most important thing for me. So it's how do you get that information? How do you get that education so that you can transform your life at whatever level you want? Most people, I have a saying, George, it's, it's never give up your power in your health, your wealth, or your time, right? Most people go, uh, they're not feeling well, they go to the doctor and he goes, oh, I'm sorry, you got six months to live. And that, you know, six months to the day is when they die, right? They give up their power. Right. But a lot of times the doctor's wrong, right? And the same thing with the financial advisor. You've got to take control of your life or at least have the power in it so that you can know if you're doing the right thing or if you know that you need to, be, to change direction. So that's all I want to talk about is, is how you can learn what's right for you and what, what best practices and things that you can do in your life right now. Yeah, I think that that's, I think that that's right. Nobody is coming to save us after all, Mark. And that's it. it's, it's incumbent upon us to to grab the bull by the horns or whatever metaphor we're interested in using, just take ownership over our financial future and our health future and, and all of the other things that you were just talking about. So I appreciate that very much. 
So the the idea is safe and reliable income. How is that possible in the stock market? Well, just to tag on what you said a second ago, what we say in our program is nobody's going to give you the money. You got to go take it. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have that's that's that taking taking control of doing it. You ask about safe, reliable income. The best way that I can explain what we do is with real estate, because most people stock market is a bit intangible, but real estate, you can walk in, you can look around, you can touch the walls. So imagine uh, across the street from you, there's this guy named Jim and he's got a, a, you know, a city block that's for sale and it's a hundred thousand dollars. Just assume that Jim has a property. He's got a sign on it says for sale for a hundred thousand. And you know, there's, there's another person, maybe it's you and you say, Hey, you know what? I heard that uh, there's going to be a huge Hilton put Uh, on the property next door to it. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen. But you don't have $100,000, George. So you say, you know what? I'm going to go to Jim and I'm going to tell him, hey, Jim, I'll buy your property sometime in the next six months for $100,000, but you got to take it off the market. And I'm going to give you $10,000 to take it off the market. And he goes, wait a minute, you're going to give me $10,000. And then anytime in the six months, uh, you can buy it from me for $100,000, which is what I'm asking for anyway. You say, that's right. So he goes, deal. So he takes the $10,000. Now what happens? Two things happen. Either the big Hilton gets put up next door and now that $100,000 property is worth a million dollars and you take your $10,000 investment and you turn it into a million dollars. That's high risk, high reward, right? You spent $10,000 to do it. Or the other way is that nothing happens. You were wrong. It was a rumor, which most of the time it is, and nothing gets built on the property. In that case, Jim just kept your $10,000. You didn't get the hundred thousand. He still keeps his property. He can put it back on the market and find, and maybe you do it another six months, right? Or maybe somebody else wants to do it. So that's what we do with stocks. So we do it, let's say for Tesla, we have a position in Tesla and we say to the gambler out there, yeah, we're willing to sell you our stock at, you know, a thousand dollars a share if the stock is around that price. And you give us $40 to be able to take that stock off the market for a week or a month. Fine. We'll do that. If, in that period of time, you want to buy the stock from us for from a for a thousand dollars. Great, we'll sell it to you. Most of the time, that doesn't happen. You just get to collect the option premium that ten thousand dollars that you gave to Jim. In this case, you get to collect that that forty dollars. So you're basically taking your asset, just like you did with the lot, or like Jim did with the lot, and you're using it to create income. It's just a way of playing a little bit of defense. You bring in income that lowers your cost on your stock, gives you more of a cushion on the downside. Now, you give up the big upside run, right? But you and I both know that the people in the Hall of Fame in baseball are the ones that get on base. They're not the ones that hit the home runs. Sure, we hear about the Babe Ruths and the Hank Aarons, but it's the guys that are consistent and have the nice high batting average because they get on base. That's all we want to do. We want to get on base consistently and not swing for the fences and strike out. So that's a long analogy, I know, but it's basically a way to take your stock and you sell options against it. And when you sell options against it, you give up that huge home run, but you do get on, on base a lot, a lot more. You get on base every time you sell the option. Love it. Singles and doubles. That's it. Well, Mark, thank you so much for coming on. Give us the website again for how people can uh, come into, into your universe. Yeah, sure. Thank you. It's uh, it's go.destinycreation.com and then forward slash lifeblood. L-I-F-E, B-L-O-O-D. I I know you know the word. So uh, just go on there. We have, uh, you know, we'd love to have you snoop around on there. Take a look at our website, get the regular paychecks book, see if something like that is is for you. But the bottom line, what I'll tell you is that, you know, I want to leave everybody with a, a tip and I know you do this on your program. And the one thing that you should take away from anything that I say or anything anybody says is take control of your financial life. Go out there and get financial education. It's the most important education you get. It's so important in our lives, and I can't emphasize enough how important it is for you to go out and just get educated. Well, I think that that is great stuff that definitely gets it. Come on. (laughs) Mark, thank you so much for coming on. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, show Mark your appreciation and share today's show with a friend who also appreciates good ideas. Go to go.destinycreation.com slash lifeblood and pick up a copy of the book and check out everything that Mark's working on and figure out if this is the right thing for you to be checking out and pursuing. Thanks again, Mark. Thank you, George. Thanks, everybody. And until next time, keep fighting the good fight. We are all in this together.